There's going to be four main components to this lesson. The first is going to be the right hand pattern and the chord shapes. Second, we're looking at gaining facility with that right hand pattern through the use of accents and naming all the fingers. Third will be that middle chromatic run over an E minor chord. And then fourth is the last few bars with its chords and harmonics. So let's dive in to the right hand pattern. Okay, so with this first section, the right hand pattern, these are the things to keep in mind. Practice this slowly with sequential planting. So that means touch type in the string ahead of the note so that you are secure you're on the right string. Secondly is chunk the strings into or chunk the notes into sets of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Again, this adds to the security and it also builds it up into chunks of information. And then you put the chunks together and that'll become a bigger chunk and then another bigger chunk and so forth and so on. So that your brain doesn't have to continuously keep thinking P, I, M, A, M, I, or whatever. It's got right chunk one, chunk two, chunk three, chunk four, put together one big chunk. Next, practice the pattern without rhythm. This is really, really key. Don't try and hit the semiquaver rhythm straight away. It's just nuts, unless you, you've done it before. But if you, and I take it you haven't because you're watching this video. Practice it slowly, sequentially planted without rhythm until you are confident that you've got it before putting it into rhythm, all right? Let your brain process all of this, it's a lot. And then last but not least, metronome, okay? Metronomic practice with the Mighty Five Rhythms, which we will go through in a minute. This will double solidify the information and it'll double check that you actually have it. You think you have it, you can do it slowly, but then ah, one of those rhythms will trip you up. Work on it. All right, let's go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to step through the right hand pattern uh, with a little help from my... Samsung J7, which should hopefully give you a clear view of my fingers. And you'll clearly see while I'm doing this that I am planting even slowly and in this in this kind of uh, strange way. So here we go again. So it's going to go PI and again PI. that now to get it solidified I have five rhythms that I use for everything okay if I'm finding it difficult to do something or it's challenging both my fingers these are the five rhythms that I do so the first one and the first two are skip rhythms uh, and the second two are uh, gallop rhythms and then it's triplets and then you're into semi quavers but anyway let's do the skip rhythms the skip rhythms will help you solidify your planting as well because you can physically see yourself planting. So the first one is one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Here we go. see my fingers adhering to the strings and then you practice the other skip rhythm which will practice the other side and get your thumb with the planting as well. The second one is one e, two e, three e, four e. So th these are really important. Th those first two, if it's just those two you practice, practice those two. Don't practice the others. They will get your planting sequentially sorted. Right, let's move on. Rhythm three. Gallop rhythm. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. And 
obviously it's got to go around three times to come back onto the one. But anyway, gallop rhythm number three. One E and, two E and, two E and, four E and. And finally, last but by no means least, the triplet rhythm. if you can make sure that you practice with the metronome um, I'm not doing it here but I have done a lesson for classical guitar magazine and you can grab the link now which will go to that lesson and it'll give you those with the metronome so you can hear them in play alrighty that's this lesson over and done with thank you very much for staying to the end hopefully it proved valuable and insightful if it did hit the like button it always helps if you want to ask questions, leave a comment below, or failing that, get on to classicalguitarrocks.com, link now, somewhere, and sign up, and you can get my email, and I'll quite happily answer any questions. Have a good day. Thank you.